Justice at Work is a unique cross-cultural art action to be installed and performed in the offices of justice, known as the Amtsgericht, in Kassel, Germany, from June 1st to September 10th, 2012. My name is Deborah Doring. I'm a visual artist, and I collaborate with other artists under the name Doe Projects. In 2010, I visited a group of artists in Hamburg, South Africa, whose work I highly respect. The artists of the Case Kama Art Project, or CAP, have faced very difficult challenges in terms of community health and lack of financial resources. Despite these challenges, they have engaged some well-known Western historical artworks and reinterpreted these works in light of their own experiences. When I first saw the work of the CAP artists touring the United States, I felt connected to something very heartfelt and brave, and yet very challenging, all emotions that true artworks evoke from us. I was also visually entranced by CAP's use of materials and forms. I saw a visual link from my own art practice to that of the CAP artists. I initially journeyed to South Africa to meet and collaborate with the artists and artisans of CAP in the rural village of Hamburg in the Case Kama Valley. But my connection deepened when I learned that South Africa is considered by many to be the ground zero of humanity's origins. What that means to me is, if every single one of us traced our ancestry as far back as it could possibly go, we would all be from one place, a place not far from where the cap artists live and work. The zero and the one, these forms are central to Doe projects, the cap artists, and this collaboration. Zeros and ones represent the digital age in which we live. They also allude to those who have virtually nothing and those who have much, much more. Zeros and ones connect us on one level, but they can also isolate us. Justice at Work will allow Doe and Cap artists to connect face to face with no digital divide between us, using zeros and ones as the point of departure for works made from low-tech materials materials which are very accessible to viewers who might call themselves simply the art curious. And yet for those who consider themselves the art knowledgeable, the conceptual and social aspects of justice at work are abundant. What makes this opportunity very special for both the CAP artists and DOE projects is that during the summer of 2012, the city of Kassel is host to an international exhibition called Documenta. In the past, Documenta exhibited works by artists such as Joseph Boys, who advocated art as social sculpture. Part of our action will be to view the works of other artists from around the world during Documenta. Our on-site presence allows both Doe Projects and CAP artists to learn from, contribute to, and directly experience the contemporary art dialogue. We invite you to read about and see our work at doeprojects.com where we will post our observations about what is happening in Kassel. Or, if you plan to visit Documenta 13 during the summer of 2012, we invite you to also visit Justice at Work each weekday in the Amtsgericht, Frankfurt Strasse 9, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. The Amtsgericht invited us just a short time ago, January 2012. We have not had much time to fundraise or apply for grants. Our video fundraising goal is $5,000, but in reality, the cost for lodging, food, transportation, our large Manifest O tapestry, and other supplies, these costs are more than five times $5,000. We are offering a variety of artworks and objects in return for your support, and we look forward to creating both artwork and a conceptual, just and fair return, which is justice personified. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for us. Please support our cross-cultural contemporary art action, Justice at Work. Thank you.